It's Wes. Welcome to this video. Today we're going to take a look at street photography with the Fuji X-S10. That's right. And I use the 23mm f2 lens. So let's dive right in. Now I put about 50 of my favorite shots out of 150 and I'm really only going to look at 10, but we'll just skim by uh, 40 others so you can see what they look like. <laughs> You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, so uh, when we look at this, I started in the parking garage, uh, moved outside, there's a fire engine right there. You can see the details zoomed in. It looks pretty good, pretty sharp. Uh, down the alley, uh, just quinceanera shop, a dress outside. Now here, I really like the detail on the necklace shot through the reflections in the window. Uh, super fun shot. Here's another window reflection pawn shop. And uh, here's another one. I, I really like this, but I like um, specifically right here, the, the cross with the heart. But then when I shifted vertically to get the shot, then I was able to use the, um, the uh, fully articulating screen here and uh, I was able to capture kind of the religious figures at the bottom of that cross, so that was a good use of the screen. Um, now look at the detail on this lock shot, really great. Um, so I'm really happy with the resolution. Um, so here this picture, I feel like it focused more on the building rather than the person in the foreground, so that was an interesting thing. I'm getting to know the camera. A couple of bikes in the crosswalk. The third one was my favorite, so I'm gonna zoom in here and show you a little bit. Uh, how punchy this was, really great shot, really nice capture, clean. Um, this is one of my favorite lenses here, and so um, you can even see the resolution of the people walking down the street. It's, it's good. Um, now I'm gonna pause this here for a second because there were some problems that I found, and that uh, has to do with um, detecting figures, or sometimes I had uh, eye detection on, and uh, we're gonna take a look at that because I'm not totally, I would say the jury's still out on this. I'm getting used to it, getting used to the settings. But um, I really love uh, this lens for kind of close-ups. Um, the bokeh is really nice, really soft. I shot at F2 the whole way and just really, I didn't touch ISO, it was like 160 and I just played with shutter speed. That's really how I was shooting. Um, so we got this nice leaf here. And then there's a really cool green awning. I couldn't really capture it the way I wanted to. Um, some light playing on these stairs. Um, now this guy in the crosswalk on the bike, he was all over. You can even see the resolution there pretty good. He was wild, he was moving around. He was a very interesting figure to shoot. And so um, I was interested in getting, I don't know if he was being haunted or hunted by somebody, but he had this look on his face. Nice street scene here. I actually asked, uh, I'm gonna stop here. I actually asked for this portrait. I just love the hat and uh, the name. I said, what's your name? My name's Wes. Delphine, so this is Delphine. I like the red phone case, the hat, the greenery around, really nice. Now, it's important to note, I had set this to classic negative. Classic negative was the film simulation, um, so that's what we're seeing here. And uh, just gumball machine at a pawn shop. Now this is Rocky, I've shot Rocky before and I saw the guy staying in the window on the phone and I went in and said, hey, can I take a picture of Rocky? So that's one of my favorite ones, him behind the uh, the counter, like he's about to help you. I asked this young gentleman if I could shoot him and he was glad to pose, glad to pose. Um, but I, I don't feel like I really did justice. I wasn't paying attention to how white the hat was. And so on this picture, I think I reduced the highlights a little bit because it's up against the white kind of concrete of the building. Uh, Some gardens, people playing ping pong. Now here's where it gets interesting. There's people playing ping pong, but I had face detect, eye detect on. And so in this scenario, I'm gonna actually show you, the camera will show you where it was focusing. And it'll say, when you scroll through in playback mode, it'll say face detected. And if you use the toggle uh, of your joystick and go down, then you can see which face or what um, area was in focus. And uh, so I'd say it's about a accurate 80% of the time. Uh, a couple times said face detection, it was like close, but not right on. Now, another thing to notice is they're playing ping pong. And so there's a lot of movement back and forth and I was trying to capture that. Um, so maybe uh, I think the shutter speed was around one over 200, one 200th of a second. So maybe I was moving a little bit fast, but um, it was mostly reliable, mostly reliable. Now this girl, she had a phone case look like a camera. So I said, oh, do you have a camera? And she said, no, it's a phone case. I said, oh, can you hold it up and take a picture? So uh, 
there are about three, Delphine, the girl with the camera case, and the young gentleman. Uh, about three people I just stopped and said, can I take your picture? Because there's something compelling about the scene. And that's, I think I like those shots more um, because I took time. I wasn't that comfortable with the camera and I was able to uh, compose a little bit better. That was it. So I will put up my favorite top 10 shots from uh, this, uh, this first time out with street photography with the Fuji X-S10. And I'll say, um, I'm not entirely confident that I know the settings to get it to focus on uh, subjects in the foreground. That combined with, I had it on pinpoint. Um, when I wasn't using eye or face detect, I had it on pinpoint, like single point uh, focus. And so sometimes I was shooting with the camera like down at my side, um, composing like that. And I was being kind of discreet and not um, really taking time to line up the shots. So some of that's on me, like there's a skater and I, I like his silhouette, um, I, I got, I feel like it was close to him, but it was like the ground right in front of him. And so I'm not sure the focus was tack sharp. I put that on me for this cause I'm new to the, new to the camera. But um, so far I give it a B, like the Fuji X100V, I give that an A. A plus for street photography. So far this is a B, but I chalk it up to me not um, being comfortable yet with the camera. So first time out, hopefully these shots give you a sort of a reference of what it's capable of. It's great. Again, the beefy grip, I've mentioned that before, help, helps uh, make it comfortable to shoot, especially portrait and the fully articulating uh, touchscreen makes it comfortable as well. So this is um, a very comfortable camera. I could have shot more. Actually, I. I'm gonna say I was out for 30 minutes and the battery was at the very end, but I had been using that battery since I picked it up on, I wanna say, Saturday? I picked it up Saturday and today is, uh, I shot these on, on Wednesday. So it's lasted pretty good. I might have charged it once, um, but the battery lasts pretty good. So I would say I probably got an hour on the battery. Um, that's just a rough estimate. So it's not too bad in my opinion. All right, hopefully this video is helpful. Let me know what questions you have about the Fuji X-S10. I have it for another couple of days and I really am excited to put it through its paces. I have a plan to do some portraits with it. I haven't really done that, um, not just street portraits, but take some time to do some portraits. So I wanna do that and I wanna try off camera flash. Those are two things I'm interested in. All right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and I thank you. Leave me a comment. Let me know where in the world you're watching this from. And if you have a question about Fuji or Canon, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.